Now just listen to everybody going crazy for pregnant Blake Lively. It's her first red carpet appearance showing off that baby bump. It's very different getting dressed with a, a watermelon as a stomach, but I'm wearing Michael Kors and Lorraine Schwartz and Christian the Baton shoes, so, um, you know, they make you feel pretty. That tool gown is actually made of stretch fabric. New next year, Blake told Chris Raggy she's been having a touch of morning sickness. Yeah, I feel a lot better than when I woke up this morning, that's for sure. There's a celebrity baby boom with Carrie Underwood, Hayden Panettiere, Kate Middleton, Alicia Keys, and Kelly Rowland also expecting. And Blake setting that pregnancy style bar pretty high. She's tall. She's statuesque. Supposedly, pregnancy makes you have even better hair. I don't know how that's possible in the case of Blake Lively, but basically, I think she's going to carry the pregnancy beautifully. Lucky Magazine editor-in-chief Eva Chan herself is expecting a baby girl this winter, so she knows pregnancy fashion firsthand. I think in the very beginning, most women tend to wear something looser, something a little bit more comfortable. And then once the bump truly emerges, I think you see most of them starting to accentuate the bump. <laughs> that is Zoe Saldana on Instagram, pregnancy pole dancing on an airport metro with hubby Marco. The Book of Life star shows off that bump in a tight white revealing sweater. I'm just pregnant, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's fine, you know, you get a little tired, but... Uh, it's an exciting time. She's expecting twins, so I think that, you know, in the coming months, you'll see her kind of wearing a little bit more A-line shapes, a little bit more forgiving, um, but she, because she's so tall and slender, she'll carry it very well. And now, Eva breaks down more maternity must-haves. The first thing to note is that you don't necessarily have to wear a maternity just because you're pregnant. Bethany, Bethany's poncho is from Forever 21, super comfortable, super roomy. And she's pairing it with a pair of maternity jeans, uh, which have a very comfy elastic waist. A long sweater flatters the bump, paired with a peplum skirt. Peplum has been in fashion for a while now, but the way we've seen it is usually at the waist. And now peplum is migrating to the, to the hem of the skirt, which is actually better for pregnancy. And for date night, pastel outerwear. Basically, our solution to everything is throw a pastel coat over it. And this style is from ASOS. It's not maternity, but because it's oversized, which is a big trend for fall, it's perfect for pregnant women. For more on Eva's tips on how to pull off pregnancy chic, go to ET online. <laughs>